I don't, I don't even really know how to start this video. Okay, I've done transfers. Um, I've I've built a new team entirely out of South African players. I've had consortiums, takeovers, investments, transfer bans, whilst trying to build a new team. It's been a lot of fun. But before we get going today, we need to invest some money. So I've done the maths, right? I've done, I did do the maths and then closed the document. So I did the maths, okay? So I've been at the, jo at the job since 20th of March, okay? We're earning 475 per week after tax, okay? Let's say 400 pound a week saved because 75 quid a week I think is nice. We can eat at the club. We just need dinners. Rent is 250, meaning we got 150 pound a week to save. And we've been at the club 22 weeks so far. So therefore we've earned 3,300 pounds or four thousand three hundred dollars let's round it down to 4k because let's say i spent 373 dollars on a new tv we have four thousand pounds dollars to invest in stocks and shares and cryptocurrencies let's <laughs> let's do it this will go well Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Save. So, if you're not interested in the investment side, it's only going to be a couple of minutes. Just skip ahead a couple of minutes. But this is our fake trading account on eToro. I use it for my real life trading as well. But you, there is also a virtual side to where you can just mess about, pretend to invest like 100,000 makeup dollars. So we're going to invest our $4,000. If you are interested in trading and or getting involved or even just messing about with the virtual one to see if you could virtually make some money, there is a affiliate link in the description to eToro. If you click on it, I don't get paid any money. But if you down the line, you decide to invest some money, then I get a very small percentage. So it's just a way of helping me out. But honestly, if you just want to go check it out, click the link, have a go browse around. You don't have to spend any money. It's just a bit of fun. Right, so four shares, $1,000 each. A reason for each. Tesla, because everybody invests in Tesla and it will just be fun to see how it goes. Um, the stock market as a whole has dropped down a little bit in the last couple of weeks, just with the Omicron variant and a couple of other things. So as you can see, Tesla, this is 2021. It's like nice climb up to here and then some peaks and troughs and stuff. So we're going to invest a thousand of our makeup money. By the way, none of this is financial advice. I am not a qualified financial advisor. You can get in lots of trouble for offering financial advice if you're not qualified. This is, <laughs> don't do what I do. This is just for funsies. Okay, stop loss means that you pull out if X, your, you know, your initial trade goes down percent, blow like 80% or 50%, depending on what you said it. We can leverage it, which is mean, just, yeah, no, <laughs> don't worry about it. We can invest a thousand at market when the market's open in about two hours time. It's commission free on eToro. So we're gonna set our thousand dollars of um, Tesla. Second one, I thought this would be the fun one. This is a cryptocurrency. Not only is it a crypto, it's a like meme token or meme coin. It's the Dogecoin. So basically, these giant peaks are when Elon Musk tweets about it, <laughs> essentially. Right? This would, for me, this is a terrible investment because you are literally taking a punt. When you hear people becoming millionaires, these are the coins that they invested in. But they invested in it when it was valued at like 0 0.005 and then it went <laughs> up to 0 0.6 exponential growth but not really growth just because elon tweeted about how funny a coin it was or something like that and it's gradually losing money i think this one's gonna go down but you never know he might tweet and then we make a shit ton of cash it's a terrible logical investment <clears throat> but we're doing it next up <laughs> old rejected oh I'll, 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 I'll worry about it in a minute um Activision Blizzard, you know, they've not been going through some stuff at the moment. Um, you can see that in their share price. <laughs> so again, I'll zoom it. So we've got basically 2021. So there's 2021, that midline. Um, as you can see, we're at a two year low. Um, and obviously with a lot with the fact that uh, a lot of Activision Blizzard are a bunch of sexist twatty assholes. Um, and Bobby Kotick is just a monster. That's a lot of it. Me and the Discord gang, we were looking at actual Activision Blizzard games coming up, and there's not that many good ones. And, you know, Diab the new Diablo could flop. You know, there's a lot of 
But we're going to try because there should, I think there'll be a price bump as soon as Bobby Kotick gets removed. So maybe we sell as soon as that. Because <laughs> I don't see long term them doing great. Um, orders I'm not going to accept. Okay, so we'll, I'll just do it as soon as the market opens. And then finally, this one, I actually invest in IRL. I think it's a good investment. I think Dropbox are doing well and they've got some interesting tech. I'm not suggesting you should trade in it. Um, and, uh, and it's definitely not a short term thing. This is very much the, I think, just a very good growth company that's doing some interesting things. And I think, you know, they make decent money. Not profit, because no, none of these big, very few of these big companies make profit. It's a whole thing. But I think it's dropped off a little bit. And I think a year holding of Dropbox could be decent. Again, not financial advice. Don't do as I say. It's all fine. Um, <clears throat> so we'll do, so we've got our Dogecoin. And we drop a little bit because of the purchase. But like, this is, because it's always open. And we'll wait for the markets. I'll get the other three. We'll have our 4,000. And then we'll just check in every couple of weeks just to, just to see how it's going. I might put it in the intro, a little update every now and then. But if you've got any ideas for investments, we will be investing more because we want to be rich and eventually buy a football club. Right. Sorry about that if you're not interested, but I, I like it and it's just a bit of fun. Um, <clears throat> and the link is in the description if you're interested. Right. Transfers. Hang on. I need... Oh, no. Before I relive this, I've got a... You might recognise a couple of names in there. Okay, this is one of the most interesting transfer windows I've ever had. We know what was happening, right? Everybody's running out of contracts. You can only offer one-year contracts. It's a shit fest. I'm like, okay. The really good news is, so we got, after finishing last stream, I got to the month before end of season. I'm like, okay, who do I want to keep? Which which of these guys, like the Mossies of this world, um, Fuad Johnson getting him on loan again, Man Bane. Just because I liked his name and he got amazing sent off. Fendo. There's a couple of other... There's about five, six really good players that I liked. And we told the rest they were leaving anyway. So that's good. One of the really nice things I discovered, the first bit of good news initially, straight away, was that they were happy... I know this is going to blow your mind. A lot of these players were happy to take pay cuts. Like some of these guys... I can't remember which ones or what they were on before, but most of them are have taken a pay cut, um, which was huge. I was like, oh my God, they're actually willing to do it because they're probably getting paid what they were in the Premier League two years ago. So that's good. And then I was just about, so I, I don't know how many I kept, five, six players. Then it was like scouting. And then, so just as I'm about to jump in head first to the transfers, rebuild this club, I have a takeover. And you know what takeovers mean? It means you can't do transfers. <laughs> it, was, I, it was straight away. I just got the happy news of being able to sign a, re -sign a couple of players. I was delighted. And then I click continue. And I've never had multiple consortiums, but that's exciting, right? And I'm like, okay, well, it's going to fuck me over now, but maybe they're rich and maybe they come in with some money. So it was like two consortiums are coming in. And then we get the... Cons you know, the message saying that they'd taken over the club. A consortium led by Lefu Mbatha has successfully completed a takeover, replacing former chairman. He was delighted by the deal and indicated he wanted to make a difference for the fans. And I'm like, yes, this is what we want, want to see. He saw off rival competition um, in his successful quest to seize control of the club in what was a competitive takeover process. I'm like, brilliant. Four minutes later, I get an email, you know, the personal manager message from the new guy, from Lefu. And he just says, no further investments can be made at this stage. Which is classic. And I'm like, fine. Well, okay, whatever. Okay, at least that was done quickly and gives me time to sign a new team. Um, unfortunately, I then get a message saying that my debt payments had started because dickhead over here, Lefu, took out a £400,000 loan to buy the club. So now we have, we, we're paying for the club that he bought. Which... Seems slightly unfair, but it's a, it's a small, it's 3,900 a month. It's not ideal, but it's not great. But it meant we could do it. So then we went transfer crazy. I can't even remember when I signed a lot of these players. <clears throat> there we go. As you can see, a lot of freebies. I have a completely South African team, which I'm actually really pleased with. Um, Right. 
Because remember, not only we've got to build a team, we've got to build a team that only contains, I want to say, three foreign players in the, in, in the or was it five? I can't remember. Um, yeah, your match squad must have no more than three foreign players. There must be at least three under 23 players in the starting 11, okay? <laughs> so that had to be done as well. But we had some good youngsters, so that covered us, like the likes of Burn and Man Bane and stuff and Fuad. They're all under 20. So that's great. That's all already sorted. And I just gobbled up, scouted everyone I could, and we'll go through quickly, but we'll get to know them a bit better. Um, so, as you can see, four players in first door. We've got Kyle Peters from CT All-Stars. He's a new goalkeeper, just to compete with our young, good goalkeeper. And then we've got Sibanda as our new fullback. Can play both sides. His left foot is pretty strong as well. Actually, a really nice pickup coming into his prime. And then we've got this guy, Mbulu, who is a sort of ball-winning midfielder. Struggle probably most with the central position, I guess. And then we have Mbukogorma. This guy, um, I just liked him because he had some interesting numbers. He's going to be more of a box-to-box -box midfielder, but more probably as an impact player. Getting on a little bit now, but a good, good player nonetheless. Bit of experience. And then we've got Justice. Shabalala, which is <laughs> Justice Shabalala, Shabal Shabalala is amazing and he's very good. Another experienced player, can play as centre back. Um, not bad passer for this level and um, probably could play as a boring midfielder if needed as well. And then we've got Nalapo, who's our another fullback and very old. There's so many old South Africans. If you wanted to build like an over 40 South African team, you would have no problems whatsoever. But this guy bought him because he's uh, decent and he's versatile. He can play left side of uh, defence, left side of midfield, ball winning midfielder if need be. So very happy with that. I don't... We, do we sell anybody? You can see the people that have all gone out. It's, you know, we didn't really get to know them that long to be... Oh, there we go. Yeah. This was one of the few guys that's contract was until 2024 for some reason. And I'm like, oh, good. At least we've got one guy that's going to stay. He then decided, he told me that he's decided he wants to leave and he's just going to run his contract down for the next two years. <laughs> so, so I was like, oh, fuck it. I might as well sell you then. He's not that good. And sold him for 20 grand. You know, big money. Um, yeah, so that's Lapo, who's our 33-year-old uh, lefty. And then we've got, same name. Uh... <laughs> Zana, this guy's decent. Actual decent, decent. And not a bad player at all. I'm going to be playing him as a centre-back. Can play as a right, more defensive right-back if need. But I think he's good. He's got a cap. He's 25 years old. He's only on 750 quid a week. That's a real good pickup. I think. It's one of my best. Then we got Filani Zulu on loan. Just to make up some numbers. I needed somebody that can kind of fill in on this left-hand side. So he... Probably won't get too much game time, hopefully. And then we got Diamini, um, who's another, who's probably the worst player I've bought, but we just needed somebody cheap to offer depth in midfield because we were, there was no midfielders left. Uh, and then we've got Nikili, another versatile player. Centre back, although five foot ten, jumping reach is a little bit low. Full back positions can cover, but more importantly, ball winning midfielder, defensive midfielder type player. Loving that. And finally, on loan from TS Galaxy, The Cube. What did I call him, The Cube? Oh, because his name's Sunel Cube. <laughs> so I just called him The Cube. Right. So, we have a team. Remember, according to the wheel, after this transfer window closes, I cannot sign or sell any other players, even in the January transfer window. This is it until the end of the season. So, we've got a first team. We've got a decent little selection of backup players. We also, so I culled the under-18s, culled the under-21s. Anybody left over that was half good, moved them into the uh, reserves. And so we've got these guys as well if we have injuries. So we've got okay depth. This is what I planned for. These guys are on nothing and can fill in if, if we get some injury crisis and stuff. So, yeah, I'm not... It's hard to tell how this is going to go because I've got no, nothing really to compare it to. The tip, the only tip that I would give 
Um, in regards to scouting, however you scout, this is just a tip for everyone. Let's say you're looking, whatever position you're looking for, okay? I'm actually, I'll show you properly. If you don't care, you can skip this bit. But like, actually, I get asked this a lot. So I don't play with hidden attributes on because I just find it annoying and stuff. But even if you did, I think this still works because I rely heavily on scouting anyway. I like to scout my players before I even take a look at them just because I want to rely on my scouts a bit more and let them do their job. But let's say if I'm looking for a centre-back in lower league positions, right? So I'm... Um, so you've got this stuff here, right? Which gives you all the sort of normal things for a centre-back. You don't have to use exactly this. I like adding acceleration for my centre-backs, especially if we're playing a high line. But let's say you're a small uh, non-league team. You're not going to find anybody with all these stats, let's say, above 10. So you might just want to pick out individual ones that are just important to you. Or you might want to whack it down a bit lower, like to sevens. And then just go through and go, okay, well, I want heading and marking at least 10. Okay, and then, you know, those can be a bit lower. So you end up, once you've, with your cur curated shortlist, let's say you've scouted all these players, and now it's time to decide which one you want. Comparison is everything. Essentially, what I do is narrow it down to four or five players in that same position, and then I just have a little competition where I compare with... With the with the guy next to him, and I go, okay, who's the best out of you? Okay, this guy's the better one, and then I'll just so that way, it doesn't. You're always gonna find the best player, in that way. You can go, okay, do the scouting, so you've got your group of players, and then just personalize it, and then compare, and just keep comparing until you end up with the one winner who you know is the best player out of those six that you shortlisted. That's kind of essentially what I do. It's not rocket science. It's not complex. I didn't invent it. It's just simple. But it works. Right. Let's get on to our first game of the season, though, and see how it is uh, against the Amatux. Also, just want to say a massive thank you to a brand new patron. And his name is Jake Tenniswood, as in one word, Tenniswood White. OK, thank you very much, Jake. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that Tenniswood is your, like, maybe your online name or your nickname. But please tell me that's your actual surname, because I've never heard of the surname Tenniswood. I've got tennis wood. That would just be amazing. Right, thank you very much as well, buddy. Welcome, welcome to the new Patreon. If you're interested in, in following me, checking me out, supporting what I do, links are all in there. We are favourites to go up. Is that because I made such good signings? Or are we just like a good team? Amatux are a solid team. Okay, so <laughs> I've got a fun thing to do. Before we kick off, I'm going. I want you to put into the comments where you think we're going to finish this season. Based on our signings, you know, and the, and we're favourites apparently, but don't don't send the message yet. Put let's say you you think we're going to finish top of the league, right? Put that, and then watch this game, this first game of the season, and then your second answer can be what you think after seeing the second game. Okay, Vivers injured, but he's, it's ni ligament, so that's fine. Okay. So let's have a quick look through the team before we go, just so we can get you, because now we need to get used to this team because they're actually going to be here for a while. <laughs> going to be here for a while. So this is our new guy, a solid all-rounder. Um, Sibanda is our new fullback. He's got he's one with a decent, decent left foot as well. Might end up playing on the left, depending on how Nalapo does. And then we've got Shabalala who we like a lot of, and the youngster, Liam Byrne, who we like a lot of, and he did well for us um, last season. Lapo on the left, meh, it's okay, but we've got a couple of options we can try out there. Then we've got Thendo as our deep line playmaker, defensive deep line playmaker. He's going to do a great job there. He's perfect for it. Then we've got Nikili as our ball-winning midfielder, and then um, Bogoma, probably... Our weakest point, the box-to-box. -box. We might mess about with that role, depending on if he does well. Manbane on the left. Not only do we love him, but and he mildly shit at football. But he's under 23, so it's important to get, you know, he needs to be in the first team. The legend, superb last season, Mossy, was absolutely beastly at the end, back end of last season. He had to get a new contract. And Fuad, we got in on loan for another season because he was just really, really good for us last season. We got Cupido still. We've got the cube. We've got Zulu. I think we've got Matt. Da we've still got Matt Damon's. We kept Matt Damon's as well. So we're actually fullback position. We're pretty strong. We've got you as our backup centre back. Like 
I think we're pretty good. Okay, I need to do this game as well. I think... I think we're going to win the league. I sort of caught myself thinking it and I was debating whether to go for it. So I think we're going to win the league and then we'll play the game and then we'll have a look why. Right, so finances, not bad. We've recovered, obviously, in, you know, the takeover and then um, money at the end of the season, some TV revenue for the forthcoming season and we're out of the hole for, for a week or so before we go back in the hole. <laughs> Can I ask... No, I can't. Next contract negotiation, I need to ask for a fucking coaching badge. Okay? Remind me. I think we're ready to go. This is it. I'm so nervous because this is, honestly, this is taking me about 12, 14 hours <laughs> over the weekend. <laughs> there was a lot of comparing and a lot of panicking. And I really like the formation from last time out, so we're going to go with it. We might adapt it throughout the season, but it was working. We did well at the end of the season. And I think we've improved, question mark? I think we've improved, right? We have, we're better. Okay. We have favourites here. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. It's all good signs. Everything seems to be pointing towards that we are good. Remember, not only did we have to rebuild at the end of the season... A lot of these other teams will have had to done the same. Mossy, is he going to get the first assist of the season? Yes, he does. And who had scores? It's like nothing changed. If you said, like, we're going to finish seventh this season, are you going to change it? Are you going to put it up to first? Now you've seen how majestic we are. Look at that power header. It's like a young Ben Teke. He's taking a knock. <laughs> does he, want, he wants to come off. <laughs> Got his goal bonus. A tight, actually, a, t a tight Achilles doesn't sound fantastic, does it? Okay. Not ideal. Who had before he goes off? Oh, it's lovely. Mossy takes a touch. 2 0. Seven, seven minutes in. We've got to win the league, right? These aren't a bad team. Remember. They're fifth favourites. Although the, the those odds things aren't very good. So let's not pretend like that's reliable information. But all I know is we're 2-0 up after 17 minutes. It's a poor ball. Right, is this our first bit of defending? Oh, cheeky. Look at these triangles. Calm as you like from Sibanda. Thendo. Excuse me. Thendo. Mbuckle. Cupido. Sibanda. Back to Mossy if he's there if he needs it. There you go. Cheeky one, two. Oh, it's lovely. Can it end in a goal? Oh, he pings it from Thendo. Wow. We're really good at footballs. Don't alarm anyone. Apologies over the next few days if there's mistakes and horrific, terrible things that have gone wrong on my videos because I have a new desk set up. Check it out on Twitter. I built it. My I built a desk myself. In the way that I just bought legs and a bit of wood on the top and screwed them together. It was, it's not like I didn't, you know, from scratch. Right, Manbane. He's had a quiet game so far. To be fair, he's only ever had one good game for us. So we're relying heavily on him. He is our first choice left winger. He doesn't deserve it in any way, shape or form. But his name's Manbane, and I like it. Okay, chase him. Mukudubella. Take that. That's about as close as pronunciation as I'm going to get. Uh... Oh, University of Pretoria. There we go. There you go. <laughs> if you wanted to know what the team was. Oh, man, I got so excited. No, it's still good. It's still good. Look how good we are. Look. Okay. This is a very good performance, but we are only a goal up, which is really irritating. Right, let's give Zulu. Get rid of the yellow card. Want another goal, boys. I'm going attacking. See if we can kill him off and then relax. 
RTS Sporting have had two men sent off in the first game of the season. Man Bane. Zulu. Man Bane. Dendo. Oh, he fancies it. <laughs> he just smashed it in. All right. Underside of the crossbar. <sighs> He's almost scored two today. Dendo, you're not really supposed to be, like, in the box. There's my deep lined playmaker on defend as a dm i feel like <laughs> you know man Bain's had a good game by association i think he existed on the same pitch as other people having a good game i think is pretty much right the cube is actually more of a defensive player despite that ignore that attack him to feel a bit he shit at it how's our box to box done 7.8, okay. I'm interested to... On, I want your honest predictions, okay? I'm interested to see how many people are going to say top. How could you not? Oh, it's his first goal! Oh, bless him! <laughs> That's not a good sign. Okay, but... Or is it a good sign? I kind of wish he'd scored more before, but that's fine as well. Right. I just think we don't need to do anything. They've never looked like they're going to get close to us. The cube. Cupid. Oh, what a goal, Mossy! Oh, <laughs> It's all worth it. I know this is one game. I know I shouldn't be overacting, but fucking hell, it's nice to... Even if we don't win the league or whatever, it's just nice to... We've got a team together and admittedly... Hang on. Zulu fancies it. Okay, admittedly, every single goal was scored by people that were there last year. <laughs> I just realised. Maybe yeah, but I get credit for keeping them. Surely, knowing which ones to keep, so I still get credit for that. I'm having that brilliant performance. Okay, then, guys, I want to know if you put a seventh or whatever tenth in the comment before. What do you reckon now? Right there, we go. We are done. We're going to zip through the season, obviously, now. We're going to get ourselves underway, all right? Last, the end of last season was just such a shit show that we needed to view a lot of it, okay? You know, we're going to get this team well underway now. We're going to get speeding through this season. This is, I'm hoping this is a nice six months of calmness. No job losses, no takeovers, no weird shit. Just from football, let's play well. Let's increase our reputation. Let's get promoted. Let's do it. Right, there we go, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. If you, um, the, with regards to the uh, trading stuff, if you have any stocks or shares that you think we should invest our next money into, we're going to be have a very um, diversified portfolio. So make sure you get your suggestions in. Um, you know, a bit of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. It's up to you, right? Thank you very much for watching. And if you're interested in investing at all, um, then use the link. Do it for fun if you want to. Start the same as me. There you go. There's the challenge. I've invested four grand. Start the account today. Virtually invest your four grand on whatever you like. And then compare how you're doing to what we're doing. <laughs> right. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the support on the channel and the comments and... After mentioning that I, in the mornings, I sit down and have my cup of tea and read through the comments. There were so many comments on last Thursday's video just saying, good morning. <laughs> it was brilliant. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.